guys, so this past weekend I went to IMATS, which is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show in Pasadena, California. I picked up not too much stuff, not a crazy amount, but some really fun, really good, super high quality items. So if you want to see how I got this look and you want to hear about some new beauty products that I picked up, then just keep watching. Let's start with the face. This is not new from iMats. I'm just going to prime using my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. And now I'm going to prime my eyes using my Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC. I didn't get a ton of stuff from iMats this year. I focus more on like tools, like brushes and stuff, rather than actual makeup. This first item, I guess, was kind of a trendy thing. This is the Artiste brush. This is the Oval 6. I couldn't decide whether to get the Oval 6 or the Oval 8. The Oval 8 is a little bit bigger, but I kind of thought it might be a little too bulky for like getting around the contours of my face. So I went with the Oval 6. We'll see how this does. I think I'm going to pair this with my Hourglass foundation stick in the shade Porcelain. I have a lot more freckles to cover up since I got back from vacation. I don't really mind freckles though. But this foundation is pretty full coverage if I did want to cover my freckles all the way. Ooh, so far this is working really nice. It's super soft too. I think this, the Artiste brush was 40% off at iMath, which is pretty good. I don't know if I would have bought it full price. But I'm glad I did now. So far I'm loving this. This is a synthetic brush too, if you're wondering. I think all the Artiste brushes are like a special synthetic soft fiber. It feels so soft. That's like the first thing I notice about it. It feels really nice to use on the face. Nothing really new to show with brows, so I think I'm just going to fill those in really quickly. And the star of the show today is going to be the Lorac Pro 3 palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. Ooh. So we've got a row of mattes and a row of shimmer shades. I already have the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 palette and I get a lot of use out of those, especially the 1. So this isn't new or anything. This came out a while ago. I think I'm just going to go in with this light shade here, Blanc, to set my shadow primer. I'm kind of drawn to this orangey shade here, terracotta. Okay, so my camera cut out for a second there, um, more like five minutes, but what you missed is I applied terracotta to my eyes, to my lids, and then I blended some of the shade dark brown in the crease, and I used my new Hakuhodu Blue Squirrel blending brush. It doesn't have a name on it, but i um, pretty sure you can find it on their website. I'll link everything down in the description box if you want to find for yourself everything that I'm using today. This is a pretty basic look, nothing life-changing here, but I just wanted to give these products a try and do a look that I know will look okay. Yeah, I can really feel the difference between my Morphe brush and the Hakuhodo brush. The Morphe brush seems really scratchy compared to the Hakuhodo brush. You can definitely feel the higher quality bristle hairs. Bristle hairs? Bristles? I've lost some of that terracotta shade since, I'm, since I've blended out the brown, so I think I'm just going to add a little bit more on another, this is actually, I got this brush last year at IMAX. this is the Hakuhodo J5522 brush. So I really want a smoked out eye with this, so that's why I'm taking that color pretty far up the brow bone. Now I'm going to take some of this bronzy gold shade called Medallion, and I'm just going to use my finger for this and kind of tap and smudge on the center of my lid. Hmm, I think I want something a little more intense than that. It's a beautiful shade, but it's a little, I don't know. So I'm gonna grab this Zoeva Detailed Shader Brush, spray a bit of MAC Prep and Prime on it, and use a little bit of that shadow dampened. There we go. 
Yes, that's so pretty. So far this is kind of like a messier, I don't want to say almost muddy smoky eye, but I think sometimes that's okay to have something that looks a little bit grungy. And I think I'm actually going to skip eyeliner with this one. I kind of like it the way it is. I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. I definitely did pick up some beauty blenders at IMATS. Not this exact one that I'm using right now. So as I get to the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to clean up that blending, that area that I blended out with the beauty blender and a bit of concealer. I don't want like a super straight line there, but I do want to clean up the shape so that it matches on both sides. This is the actual beauty blender bag that I got at IMATS. They were having a little beauty blender special, so in this little pouch I got one of the classic pro blenders. The black ones are known as pro, I'm not sure why. I do think there is a difference though. I find that the black ones last a little bit longer for me, and they're a tiny bit stiffer, whereas the pink ones are a little bit softer and squishier. This also came with one of the teeny tiny beauty blenders, which are good sometimes for cleaning up really close to the inner corner of the eye. And then the medium sized one, I've never used this before, but I'm sure I'll find an occasion. And it also came with this tiny little beauty blender solid pro cleanser. This is just a little solid cleansing soap for the beauty blender. I've never used this black one before, but in my experience, the beauty blender soap works super well for cleaning both beauty blenders and makeup brushes. I got two new brushes from Hakuhodo that I think are going to be great for under eye eyeshadow application. These again do not have names, but they're pretty similar. They're both natural hair brushes. One just has a slightly longer bristle and the other one's a little more stiff. I think I'm going to start with the longer one first and I'm going to go in with and I'm going to go in with this shade clay from the Lorac Pro 3 palette. And again, this brush does not disappoint. The under eye area is another really sensitive area on the face, so it's kind of nice to have an extra soft brush for that. And then with the other small brush, I'm going to take dark brown and I'm going to smudge this on the outer corner close to the lash line. I pretty much always do my under eye shadow the same way. Ooh, maybe I'll draw kind of like a more precise shadow wing. Mm, I don't know if I like that. You know what, I think I'm going to add a winged liner after all. Partially to salvage this weird thing we've got going on here and also to try out my new brush. This is the Smith 203 brush. It's like a little really tiny liner brush. This is a synthetic fiber and it's pretty stiff so it's good for getting a precise line. And I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown gel liner in the shade black. And yes, so far for ease of use, I definitely like this little angled brush for gel liner. So I've gone in tight lined, done my waterline, bit of brow gel. I'm going to go back in with the Lorac black shadow and just kind of blend out that, that eyeliner. Smudge out that lower lash line a bit. Alright, and I think I'm ready to move on to mascara. This was just a little free sample that the people at Lorac threw in. This is the Pro Fiber Mascara in the shade black. So right away I can see the brush is like this giant end. I don't know what to do about that. And then it looks like there are little fibers in the actual mascara. Um, I don't know. So far I find this mascara just okay. I think that the brush is a little bit cumbersome and kind of hard to use with that huge bulb on the end. Plus, I don't usually use mascaras with like fibers in them. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I basically hate this mascara. I'm gonna switch back to my old faithful Marc Jacobs for the lower lash line. 
Next on the new from IMATS list is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. So I already have the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. Here's a comparison side by side. Light and Medium. I'm definitely happy with the Medium. I don't think it's too dark for me, but I was curious about the light for days when I want a super light contour or more like daytime looks, I guess. My last Hakuhodo purchase, this is um, the B512. It's an angled blush brush. I don't even have to say it. This is super, super soft. And let's try that Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Just like a super subtle shade. Nothing too crazy. You can definitely build it up a little bit, but the actual shade itself is like a really nice, cool, toned brown. Sort of an understated contour. I think I'm gonna skip blush today and just kind of go with the undone cheek. I'm definitely adding highlighter though. I'm gonna use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is in a kind of sad state at the moment. <laughs> probably time for a new one. And then this new Smith brush, this is the Smith 112 brush. This is like a perfect little highlighter brush. Ooh. This brush is super soft. Definitely happy I purchased this. I don't really have any brushes shaped like this, so I was definitely in need of like a small, flexible powder brush. I also picked up some flutter lashes in two different styles. This is the style Amber, which I think I'm gonna use today. These are super long, definitely need to trim them. These are mink lashes, by the way. I also picked up the style Blake, which look really nice too. Lashes are on. Ah, oh, I love these lashes. They're super comfortable too. I'm really disappointed that I didn't pick up a couple more pairs at the sale price. Moving on to lips, I did not buy any lip products at IMAT, so I'm just gonna pick my Bite Honeycomb Lipstick. Maybe I'll put a little gloss on there too. I'm gonna dab on some of my Pat McGrath Clear Vinyl Gloss. Kind of been getting back into glossy lips lately. Finish it up with a bit of MAC Fix Plus. And I think that's gonna complete this look today, but before I go, I've got some more stuff from my mats that did not fit on my face today that I wanna show you. I picked up this gigantic bottle of Bioderma. This is the regular formula. Um, this one comes with a little pump top, which is nice. This is my favorite micellar water. I love using it for removing my eye makeup, and I've been using it for years. I definitely know that I will get some good use out of this. I also picked up some clear makeup pouches. After traveling last month, I realized that I was in desperate need of a new organization and storage for travel makeup and skincare stuff. So I got these clear ones because obviously you can see through them. And I think that makes it a lot easier when you're reaching to grab stuff in your bag, you know, and you can see from the outside where everything is. So I got a couple sizes, this one, this one, which is a little deeper, it has a clear top. And then this larger one for larger palettes and stuff. I like that the inside is lined all the way with plastic too, so if you have any spills, it's easy to clean. What else did I get? I'm pretty sure that's it, actually. So I didn't go crazy this year at iMats, but I definitely picked up some really nice brushes and things that I know I will use for years to come, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I hope you guys liked this look. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can click that round button of my face at the end of this video and that will subscribe you to my channel. Please leave a comment below telling me what you think of this look and what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.